Very recently on Twitter, RobTub released a teaser image for his upcoming update on June 1st, 2.206, which seems to be shaping up to be the largest update we've gotten since the original 2.2 update. So in today's video, we're going full MatPat and trying to figure out which feature each and every symbol on this teaser is hinting at. If you enjoyed today's video, please remember to like and subscribe. It helps out the channel a ton and you can always undo it later. This video is also being released on the Tuesday before the update, so if anything changes afterwards, it won't be included in this video, obviously. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Right off the bat, this teaser has 10 elements or symbols or pictures, which likely hinting at a new bug fix or feature. So let's just get the easier ones out of the way first, as there seems to be some pretty clear interpretations that most people agree on for a few of these. This outline right here does look a lot like the outline of a gauntlet art piece, and so many in the community have theorized that this means that we're going to be getting another gauntlet in 2.206. However, I personally really doubt that we're only going to get just one gauntlet in 2.206, as generally speaking, a new gauntlet will drop every few weeks or so, and it doesn't really require an update, so so it doesn't really seem like a new gauntlet would really mean that much for an entire update, even if it is a smaller one like this. Personally, I think there's something very special about the gauntlet being added if there is only one gauntlet being added in this update, or what seems more likely to me is that RobTob is just simply releasing a few gauntlets in this update all at the same time, maybe somewhere between 3 and 5 considering that RobTob really does like the idea of having 2.2 levels in these new gauntlets, and I think shedding light on the levels he chooses for those gauntlets would probably be best done in doing so with an update. As for if it's just one gauntlet, I do still think that it would have some sort of special function to it. It's possible that just one regular gauntlet being added that RobTop just wanted to make sure that we knew or something. Personally, I think it could be another demon-focused gauntlet that has entirely demon levels. Personally, I really like the idea of having a platformer gauntlet, which is something that I think could be possible here, but probably less likely, as if it was specifically that, it probably would have been included in some sort of hint in this picture, and also that might be what the map is in 2.21, so it wouldn't really make sense to have it here. Another fairly simple one is the Apple logo, which is most likely going to be additional support for macOS and iOS, as there's been a lot of, like, just software issues with the game and whatnot. Before 2.2, on certain versions of iOS, you literally could not open the game. It would load up and then it would immediately crash and you couldn't do anything about it. So this seems to be leaning more into the bug fixing side of this update, which from what I've heard is very much needed on the Mac and iOS software systems because, I mean, honestly, when has there ever been a cross-platform game that includes Apple devices that hasn't had issues exclusive to Apple OS? Next up is this 1200 plus little number thingy. Most people People think this has to do with the music library, which I think is absolutely the case. More specifically though, there have been some people, including Aeon Air in his video on the subject, theorizing that this is most likely a collab with NCS or Monster Cat because we haven't gotten a new artist on the music library for quite some time, which would probably be NCS or Monster Cat making a deal with RobTop. Personally, I think it makes more sense that this would be NCS adding songs to the game, as, of course, it is no copyright sounds. It would be very, very helpful for the Geometry Dash YouTube scene, which, of course, I have a vested interest in. And there's also, like, a lot of good music on NCS that isn't just, you know, like, the we live, we love, we lie meme and all that stuff. Also, this would be pretty big for the lobotomy level scene, as you bet a bunch of stereotypical NCS songs would be used in those levels. Aeon also mentions in his video that Monster Cat would most likely have a harsher deal on Robtop when it comes to bringing their songs to Geometry Armature Dash, so it's possible that that deal might take longer and we could be getting a partnership with them in the future, or maybe just not at all. But generally, I think this one is relatively self-explanatory. The only other option is that maybe it's plus 1200 sound effects, which I guess wouldn't be as exciting. We already have so many sound effects, and it seems like everything is pretty much covered, considering that RobTop can just add more sound effects without updating the game at all. So I do personally think that this is probably some big music announcement, as there wouldn't really be announcement worthy if it was just a bunch of sound effects. Aeon also says in his video that the music notes over here are pretty much probably just teasing the same thing. Honestly, other than that, I don't really know what else this would really be symbolizing. I'm also, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm a bit rusty on my music theory, but I'm pretty sure there aren't any three-line clefs, so I don't think these are actual notes to a sheet music of a song. Honestly, missed opportunity, you could have rickrolled everyone who was looking into this too hard. It's most likely that the 64 here is referring to the game being on 64-bit from now on, which will help with optimization issues and stuff. It, it's cool, whatever. Next up is this icon, which seems to be the exact icon for the high UI feature and better edit. So that feature, along with maybe some other quality of life improvements to the editor, could be coming in this update. So now we're getting to the real shit. These three elements seem to be the biggest talking points in the community right now regarding this teaser, all potentially hinting to some pretty major changes to the game. First off is this picture, which has several explanations, all of which are pretty interesting. Some people do think that this is most likely a replay last checkpoint feature that is included in Mega Hack, which is a simple quality of life feature that does keep a lot of people from just playing vanilla without hacks, that Rob Todd 
Bob could add to the game as he's been adding other mega hack features into the game recently, like the FPS counter and practice mode music replacement. I think this one is probably more reasonable and might end up being the most likely, but one of the more interesting theories that has gained a lot more traction in the community is the idea that this is a save and exit checkpoint feature for platformer mode. In other words, you could play through a platformer level, get to a checkpoint, and then exit the level and resume from that checkpoint later. Personally, I really hope it's the latter because this would make platformer levels so much more fun personally. I know it technically makes it a lot easier, but if we're worrying about the top play scene in platformer mode, a lot of top platformer levels could just just not have checkpoints in the level, and a good number of them already don't anyways. I think overall this would just make platformer mode a lot more fun for more of the player base because it could also allow much longer platformer levels to be made, and a more realistic and usable framework for people to make their own mini games within Geometry Dash. Remember when 2.2 released and then like a week later someone recreated Five Nights at Freddy's Plus inside platformer mode? Imagine being able to save your nights that you completed, that would be insane. Chuck in this feature with Globed and someone making a open world mini game in Geometry Dash and boom, you have Roblox. I personally think this feature would be an insanely good addition and opens so many doors for platformer mode. Another really interesting element is this picture of Bloodbath with the player inside of a spike. Most people have either theorized that it's no clip within the main game and it's going to be used exclusively within the editor for playtesting purposes, or that it'll be integrated into practice mode and perhaps be something that you have to buy from the mechanic. And honestly, I have no idea what this could be pointing to in a more specific sense, other than the fact that specifically Bloodbath was chosen as the level to show showcase this, instead of one of the main levels. Some people have theorized that this is leading to some sort of CBF inclusion in the game, but I honestly think that's kind of just cope, we're probably gonna have to wait for that for a long time, if that ever does happen, and I'm sure Robtop has heard about that debate, and is probably just biding his time so that people don't harass the shit out of him for not including it. Personally, I think this one's a bit more mysterious, but yes, it's probably involving Noclip and not CBF. I'm pretty sure even with CBF, this is just not possible without Noclip. That icon is pretty far into the spike. And then the last thing, in the teaser image is this, and no one really seems to know exactly what this is. Osk points out in his video that it looks exactly like the shop icon, except it's yellow, which is the sole reason why any theory on what this means is completely null and void, because if it was just the outline, any theory involving the shop would be much more plausible, whereas this could be hinting at an entirely new thing. Some of the more popular theories around this are that it's probably just new shop items, or maybe new shop prices? I don't know, I want to buy out all the shops, but in order for me to buy out the mechanic shop, I need to beat 751 demons worth of orbs, so I don't think that's gonna happen. That's probably just Topia on my part, but we'll see. There's also another possibility that's a bit out there, which is that it's a new currency of orbs, maybe orbs for specifically lists or something, and they're yellow this time. Or you know what? Maybe it is microtransactions. Maybe we're getting the fucking Minecraft Marketplace Fortnite Battle Pass Geometry Dash microtransactions. Honestly, I think this most likely just means that we're getting new shop icons, or maybe, maybe the prices are dropping or maybe it's a new shop. I highly doubt it's actually microtransactions. Most people have just been saying that sort of as a meme, and honestly, Robtop has said pretty repeatedly that he's not on board with the idea of just having microtransactions in the game. If he just wanted to make easy money, he would just release another spin-off game. So that's it for today's video and what the theories are on it. I was going to include some of your theories into the video, but none of them were really that serious. So that's it for today's video. If you did enjoy it, please remember to like and subscribe. It helps out the channel a ton. You can always undo it later. I was going to include some of your theories into the video, but a lot of them were pretty unserious. But the more serious ones I did look into, and a lot of people seem to agree with them throughout the community. I know this video is going to be irrelevant in like less than a week, but I still wanted to make it because I think this is a really interesting way of teasing the new update, and it kind of a ballsy move on Robtop's part to include the actual release date for it. Bro has to already have the update on lock on all platforms in order to do that because Bro is not good at release dates. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye.